In this video I'm showing how to upgrade the software on a Cisco switch. These steps should work for many different models, but the specific hardware I'm using is a Cisco 2960. I already have it powered on and I'm consoled into it here. And the software that I'll be using as a TFTP server is called TFTP D32. It's a free application to download and I'll leave a link in the description. The software is pretty easy to use, but the first time you run it Windows is a little paranoid and might give you the prompt to allow it through the firewall. Other than that, you just point it at a directory where you have Cisco IOS images. In this case, I have it on my C drive in a folder named FTP. And if I browse to that folder, you can see I have two images here for 2960s. Back on the switch, the first command that I'm going to run is to confirm what software the switch is running. That command is show ver. And you can see it is running 12.255 SE6. From my experience, this is actually pretty stable software, but just for the sake of making the video, I'm going to go ahead and update it to a different version. And back on my TFTP application here, I can see that I have version 12.255 SE9 available, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and click Copy, and then click Close. And in the TFTP application, you can also see the IP address of my TFTP server here. It's 192.168.1.66, and I'll be using this address to copy the new software to the switch. Back on the switch, the command to do that is copy tftp colon slash slash 192.168.1.66 slash and then paste the name of the image and then space flash as the destination and just hit enter. And we can use that as the file name. And now back on the tftp application, you should see that it tries to start the transfer. It always seems to fail the first couple times, but eventually it gets up and running. Even though there's plenty of bandwidth available between the switch and the server, it does take a couple of minutes to complete, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. So back on the switch here, we can see that the software has successfully completed copying. Now if I say show flash, then we can see that the image is successfully on the switch. The next command that I'm going to run is show boot. This command shows that the current boot image is the 12255se6.bin image and the directory with the same name. What we're going to do is we're going to change that so that it boots to the 12255SE9 image. To do that we just go into global config mode and then type boot system flash colon and then paste the name of the image and hit enter. And then we can go ahead and save our config and reload the switch. And since reloads can also take a few minutes, I'll go ahead and fast forward through this as well. And immediately when the switch starts booting, you can see that it's loading the new 12255SE9 image. Alright, so the switch has returned to the press return to get started screen, so I know it's booted up and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and log into it now. And now that I'm back into the switch, I can run the show ver command. And this confirms that it's running the new 12255SE9 image, and our work is done. So that's it for this video. Hit the like button if it was helpful, and thanks for watching.